Echo Sace, page 52, by Carl Maria von Weber. Notice that you have a three-note repeating pattern that occurs in the first uh, measure, in the first phrase, and at the end of the first phrase. It also occurs at the beginning of the second phrase in the right hand, and then down again in the third phrase in both hands, and just the right hand in the third phrase, finally in the fourth phrase at the beginning of the fourth phrase. Notice back in the first phrase we have the chromatic tones. We've got the D sharp, which looks to be just a, a non-harmonic tone, probably a lower neighbor, and then goes right back to the D natural. In the left hand, again, another D sharp um, going to the uh, E chord, the E minor, at the end of the first phrase. Now, notice um, at the end of the second phrase, you do have that C sharp and have a cadence on that D chord. Makes it look like we're really modulating to D, but that's very uh, quickly lost because of the C natural in the left hand in measure 9. You've got your D7 here. I know there's no chord third, but you can see the D, the A, and the C, which makes up a D7, going to a G chord in that uh, the next two measures. Now, also in that third measure, look and see that that right hand's going to cross over your left. Your left hand's up on that G chord, a broken chord, and then the right hand's going to go over. So there's a hand cross over here, but that's only for two bars. Then, uh, also make sure that you've seen that left hand broken chord pattern, uh, two bars of the G, and then your A chord here, A minor, these two bars, here's your D7, and then ending up with the G. So be very careful of that left hand, just um, some basic chords here in the left hand.